sales fact underscore detailed because it is storing the detail level information for daily and monthly aggregated fact tables we can also use underscore summary as a suffix so the fact table stores transaction details about three stores store id one two three situated in mumbai bangalore and delhi location monthly and you see only three records in the output one for delhi so the delhi store for the entire february sold 197 items that was around. let's talk about aggregate fact tables in data warehouse this is a typical edl pipeline where we get data from multiple sources we move the data into a staging area we apply some operations very basic operations in staging area data is moved into edw layer where we either create data warehouse or data mart we create dimensions and fact tables in this video, we are going to focus particularly about aggregate fact tables, how we build it. I will also share SQL queries used to build aggregate fact tables. And these fact tables are primarily used for reporting and visualization purpose. Aggregate fact tables. So what is aggregate fact table? Aggregate fact table is a summarized pre-calculated data from a fact table the aggregate fact table stores less detail, hence the granularity is higher. It is highly efficient when it comes to query performance. It takes less storage because you are storing aggregated data, the summarized data and not the individual transactions. Aggregate fact tables are created when there is a clear requirement how you're going to use the pre-calculated data and support for ad hoc queries less because when you create an aggregate fact tables you lose many dimensions so it is very specific to your requirement and it generally does not handle ad hoc queries very well let's see a very simple example i have a fact table which is sales so i have a store sales fact table you can see here that it is having data for three stores situated in mumbai bangalore and delhi and you can see in this fact table, I have data at the transaction level. So whenever there is an, any transaction happens, an entry is made into this fact table. Similarly, I can create a sales fact daily table. So what will happen? This aggregated fact table will store it the same information, but at, aggregated at the daily level. So for one day, for one store, there will be just one entry. So if you see here, for the store ID 2, for 1st of February, there were three records. However, in sales fact daily, there is just one record for, so, for store ID 2 for 1st of February. So we, what we are doing is basically we are aggregating the data across all the stores, across all the dates and make, and make a daily aggregated fact table. Similarly, we can make a monthly sales fact table as well. So in this case, instead of aggregating data at the date level, we'll aggregate data at the month level. Some of the terminologies used to refer these aggregate fact tables are, this can be treated as a sales fact underscore detailed because it is storing the detail level information. For daily and monthly aggregated fact tables, we can also use underscore summary as a suffix. So I have worked in many projects where we use uh, sales fact and sales fact daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, like that naming convention for the aggregate fact table. In some projects I have worked where we use underscore detail for the usual fact tables and underscore summary for the summarized fact table. So it totally depends on your project, what you are building, you can use any naming conventions. Both the naming conventions are standard. You can use underscore daily or underscore monthly, or you can use underscore detail, underscore summary, whatever you want. So if this is clear to you, let's switch to SQL part where I'll show you how you can create a daily and a monthly fact table. So you can see here, I have built a fact table, namely sales underscore fact, and there are 150 records in this fact table. The fact table stores transaction details about three stores, store ID one, two, three, situated in Mumbai, Bangalore and Delhi location. And the store primarily sells Apple products. So you can see iPhone, Mac mini, iPad, Apple watch. So all these products are sold across three stores in Mumbai, 
Bangalore and Delhi. So this is just a sample data I have generated. I'll share the link with you where you can go and use the data to generate tables in your environment. Now, first we'll create a daily aggregate fact table from this fact table. It is not necessary to create a aggregate fact table from a fact table. You can use the same logic with a usual fact table to generate an aggregate fact table. You just have to add additional group by clause to convert a usual fact table code into an aggregate fact table code. In this case, we'll use sales underscore fact as our source table to generate a daily aggregate fact table. So uh, let me create a aggregate fact table, select store ID. Let's take store city also. Uh, I will not take item or item ID. I want to see my purpose of this is in the dashboard or in the reports, I want to see daily how many uh, items are sold across my stores in the three location and what is the total sales. So this is my clear requirement and I want to generate an aggregate fact table to be used for purpose of reporting this information. So what I will do is let me do some of sales quantity as total sales daily and then I will do some of total sales as total sales amount or revenue daily and this just to avoid any confusion i'll add a keyword quantity so you know how many quantity of the item is sold now since this is a daily aggregated fact table right so what i have to do is i have to convert my timestamp into date as sales date so what i'm doing here is for first right if you see there are so many transactions i want to ignore the time component so that all the transactions are for first only and i'm ignoring the time component in it and then i'll aggregate over the date only so rather than if i just do group by sales date all these timestamps are unique and i'll not be able to group them together so I'll simply convert a timestamp column into date and I will use this for my aggregation. So from sales underscore fact group by and then I'll just copy these three columns. I can write group by one, two, three as well. So that's it. I, if you want, I can create a table sales underscore fact underscore daily as selects this 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 now since i'm running it for say a period of january only i can add additional filter conditions where sales underscore date between 2024 these dates will come from a scheduler so whatever scheduler you are using you have to use that to pass the date value here i'm just hard coding it for the sake of simplicity good and uh, let me show you the data from the table or by sales date comma store id so you see here on first i have just one entry for store id one for second i have one entry for store id one there is no entry for store id two because store id two did not make any sale on second of february so if i see here 2nd of february these are the data and i don't see any entry for store id 2 right so that's why when i aggregated the data on daily basis i could only see one two three and one three store id on 2nd of february so this is how i can create a daily fact table now let me use a similar approach to create a aggregated fact table which is sales fact monthly. So now instead of aggregating it on the daily basis, I'll aggregate it on the monthly basis. So for this also, what I will do is I will convert, reuse the same code and here cast sales as date. So now I have to do further manipulation of the date here. We were just converting timestamp to date and that is good for us because we are generating a fact table on daily basis. Here we have to convert date into the month level. So what I can do is to care 
and depending on your database you can use the syntax and I will just give the format yyyy hyphen mm as sales underscore month and here everywhere the column names instead of daily I'll just replace it with monthly and uh, sales date will remain same here also I'll just copy this in the group by and I'll put it here order by 3 comma 1 I can ignore that. so let me run the query and show you the output so select star from sales fact monthly and you see only three records in the output one for Delhi so the Delhi store for the entire February sold 197 items that was around 180,000 dollars similarly the Bangalore sold 203 and 252,777 was the total sales revenue and the Mumbai sold the most number of units 244 and made the most revenue out of these three stores so now if I have a report, I want to create a dashboard where I want to show the monthly sales of each store. I can just query from this table. I don't have to query my sales fact, the usual fact table. I can use sales fact monthly to show the monthly revenue and the total items sold. Similarly, if I want to show it at the daily level, what I will do is in the dashboard, I will just use this table order by sales date comma store id i will not use my typical sales fact table i will use this table and you can see the query is also very optimized in this case so that's how we build and aggregate fact tables you don't have to necessarily you create a fact table and then build uh, aggregate fact tables on top of that if the requirement is very clear you can use the same logic to build the fact table and then add additional group by to create aggregated fact tables also the daily one maybe you can schedule it to run on daily basis but in that case you will do a date instead right now i am reading it for the entire month you may want to run it for one day at a time so say on 2nd of february you will run the job to load sales fact daily for 1st of february so whatever is the current date you will read minus one day data from your table and then you will aggregate it and load it into sales fact daily and sales fact monthly we generally schedule it on second of next month so every month on second uh, of that month this monthly job will run it will run once a month and it will read all the data for the last month start date of the previous month and last date of the previous month it will run for that it will create the aggregation and load it into the aggregate fact table which is monthly fact table in this case so i hope it's a very small concept but in every data warehouse you will see that aggregated fact tables are created and these are very useful highly optimized for your specific requirement and uh, one more point i mentioned right that it's at a higher granularity so it cannot support ad hoc queries so say if somebody says you have sales fact monthly it's good that you are telling me that daily uh, at a monthly level they sold so many items right and uh, total sales revenue was this can you tell me which was the best product or the product which was sold the most or the product which generated the most revenue for my store daily and you cannot give this information from your aggregated fact table because that information the product level information is not stored right so it's at a very higher granularity and you have lost some detail which is item detail in this case so to get that information you will go back to the sales fact table and from there you will group by item and then you will see which item generates the most revenue right so if you want i can show you that query also so say my requirement is that i want to see that for the period february 2024 for the store daily which item generated how much revenue and which one was the best one right so i'll just give the dates here 2024 0 to 29 it's a leap year and generally you will put these dates programmatically so you don't have to hard code it now here i want as per the requirement i want store id and then i want uh, i will just check the columns available in sales fact 
okay so what i will do is store id i'll pick maybe store city also i can pick i can pick anyone both are same two means mumbai or mumbai means two uh, for the sake of clarity i'll keep both the columns and i want to know which item actually right so what i will do is sales item name and then i will do sum of sales quantity as total quantity sold sum of total sales as total revenue right and i will do group by store id this now uh, i have to add a date component to it to determine that okay if they want to see on daily basis uh, which revenue is uh, sold the most or weekly basis or monthly basis so let's assume they want to see at a monthly basis which was the most sold item so again i will use the same date format so i will add it here as sales month comma and i will add it into the group by so i will run this query and what this will do is for so now you can see that all the items stored uh, all the item my store was selling how many quantities were sold for a particular item and what was the revenue generated for it and if you want to see which uh, so you can obviously do order by here and see that okay this item if i say for store mumbai mac pro was sold 13 times in month of february and total revenue generated was 77.9k dollars which is good amount right for bangalore mac pro again and for delhi it is mac pro 16 inch so i can get this information from the usual fact table but the same information i cannot get from my sales fact monthly because in that i'm not storing any item details so aggregate fact tables as a small concept but very important concept in any data warehouse environment i hope it is clear to you now if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel